Hear the word of the Lord, O nations, declare it to the distant lands. Behold, our Saviour will come, you need no longer fear. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God of mercy in us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May our p prayer of petition rise before you, we pray, O Lord, that with purity unblemished, we, your servants, may come as we desire to celebrate the great mystery of the incarnation of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. <clears throat> Let the wilderness and the dry lands exult. Let the wasteland rejoice and bloom. Let it bring forth flowers like the jonquil. Let it rejoice and sing for joy. The glory of Lebanon is bestowed on it, the splendor of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the splendor of our God. Strengthen all weary hands, steady all trembling knees, and say to all faint hearts, Courage, do not be afraid. Look, your God is coming, vengeance is coming, the retribution of God, he is coming to save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, the ears of the deaf unsealed. Then the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongues of the dumb sing for joy. For water gushes in the desert, streams in the wasteland. The scorched earth becomes a lake, the parched land springs of water. The lures where the jackals used to live become thickets of reed and papyrus. And through it will run a highway undefiled, which shall be called the sacred way. The unclean may not travel by it, nor fools stray along it. No lion will be there, nor any fierce beast roam about it, but the redeemed will walk there, for those the Lord has ransomed shall return. They will come to Zion, shouting for joy, everlasting joy on their faces. Joy and gladness will go with them, and sorrow and lament be ended. This is the word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. The response is, look, our God is coming to save us. I will hear what the Lord God has to say, a voice that speaks of peace, peace for his people. His help is near for those who fear him, and his glory will dwell in our land. Look, our God is coming to save us. Mercy and faithfulness have met, justice and peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall bring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. Look, our God is coming to save us. The Lord will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his steps. Look, our God is coming to save us. Gospel acclamation. Prepare a way for the Lord, make his path straight, and all mankind shall see the salvation of God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Now Jesus was teaching one day, and among the audience there were Pharisees and doctors of the law who had come from every village in Galilee, from Judea and from Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was behind his works of healing. Then some men appeared carrying on a bed, a paralyzed man whom they were trying to bring in and lay down in front of him. 
But as the crowd made it impossible to find a way of getting him in, they went up onto the flat roof and lowered him and a stretcher down through the tiles into the middle of the gathering in front of Jesus. Seeing their faith, he said, My friend, your sins are forgiven you. The scribes and the Pharisees began to think this over. Who is this man talking blasphemy? Who can forgive sins but God alone? But Jesus, aware of their thoughts, made them this reply. What are these thoughts you have in your hearts? Which of these is easier, to say your sins are forgiven you, or to say get up and walk? But to prove to you that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralyzed man, I order you, get up and pick up your stretcher and go home. And immediately before their very eyes he got up, picked up what he had been lying on, and went home praising God. They were all astounded and praised God and were filled with awe, saying, we have seen strange things today. The Gospel of the Lord. The Lord brings everlasting joy to his people. Let us pray to him with confidence, knowing that all we have comes from him. For the holy people of God, that we may follow more closely in the footsteps of the Lord. Lord, hear us. For those whose hearts are paralyzed by evil, and for those who use their authority to do injustice, let us ask for the grace of conversion. Lord, hear us. For the gifts of compassion and friendship, let us pray that we may be grateful in the receiving and generous in the giving. Lord, hear us. We pray for all our own intentions. Lord, hear us. And we pray for all who have died. Remember Sheila Smith, whose month's mind is today. The anniversaries of Dr. Sarah McAnallen, Jackie May, Edward Sloan, John Edgar, and George Rooney. Also, we pray for Brenda McNeese, late of Gervahi Park, who died on Saturday. Our funeral mass is tomorrow morning here at 11 o'clock with the usual restrictions applying. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. Father, giver of life and source of our hope, hear the prayers which we make in faith. Send your spirit to open our hearts to the coming of your Son, who made himself one of us, and who is our Lord forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours 
may it be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father, Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, the holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Eamon our Bishop, his assistant Bishop Michael, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, our venerable spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. <coughs> the peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. for the distribution of Holy Communion as usual. I will begin with those on my right hand middle aisle and the Minister of the Eucharist will start over at the Stations of the Cross side and when he is finished there I will then distribute to those on my left hand middle aisle while the Minister moves over to the choir side.
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray, for even now as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and stay safe.